Hey everyone, this is Krish. Hope you're doing well. Uh, it's a beautiful day out here today. It's like low 50s, uh, bright and sunny and, and not a whole lot of wind. So it's, it's fantastic. Um, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about Git's branch management, the way we use it. Uh, as you know, Git is a super powerful tool. It does a million things. So I'm just going to focus on one tiny aspect of it. Um, so a little bit of background. Uh, we are probably know we are a small team uh, but our, even if our product is no reflection of it, it has a ton of features so at any given point of time we have a number of feature branches that are open and here is kind of how we do it we've changed it many times over and this is what actually has been working for us uh, in the recent past we have three core branches uh, a master branch which is a reflection of uh, what's out there in production and it maps to our latest tags uh, that we've cut uh, and then we have the develop branch which uh, has the latest and greatest changes at any given point of time with a caveat and then we have the develop interim branch which we did not used to have like six months ago but then uh, we had a need uh, for that particular branch and I explained why so the develop interim branch is let's let's start off with it being in sync with develop so they point to the latest the same commit IDs uh, uh, now let's say we're working on a new feature I'm just going to make it simple a UI feature or, or an enhancement uh, we create a new branch off of develop interim call it uh, whatever let's say a new modal uh, and then we work on those changes and then uh, we'll get to the commit aspect uh, of that branch because you know how you do your comments how often and things of that nature uh, they're not related to this core discussion so let's say you work on that feature at, at one point it is ready um, ready to be merged so we call it process in rmd rmd like review merge and deploy um, so you know we get on the call we review the changes uh, and then if uh, we make the uh, you know based on the review feedback code review feedback we make more changes uh, make more commits into that feature branch and then get back on the call uh, and then uh, work on doing a merge the second aspect of the RMD uh, uh, merge so when we do merge after we test it uh, we merge it into develop interim we do not merge it into develop we don't merge it into develop for many reasons one of them is that there could be other dependencies and there usually are other dependencies like the API changes have not been pushed for instance um, <coughs> excuse me so moving it into uh, merging it into developed uh, into the develop branch uh, creates uh, discrepancies for us so we merge it into develop interim and once the other changes are done like say the API changes are done uh, we follow the same process in the other repositories as well so those get merged into develop interim and then if we deploy develop interim to development for instance uh, or to test one of those environments uh, and if things look all right then we actually merge them forward to develop at that point the latest and greatest is there uh, add to those other complications and or complexities like uh, we're not necessarily working on a single feature at any given point of time so let's say uh, if there are n developers we have like m features where, where m is greater than n so the so one person is working on multiple features uh, and then you're waiting on feedback from other team members so you end up merging it into develop interim and you start working on more changes at that point uh, we always ask ourselves whether we want to create a new branch off of develop interim or if you want to work on the new feature branch that was just merged to develop interim because uh, we've not yet had the time to, to review it uh, and if you make changes off of a, a more pristine develop interim branch then we're going to run into merge conflicts which we do more often than not so a lot of other factors come into play um, once we are happy with the changes uh, uh, that have been merged to develop interim and we've had a chance to test it after uh, deploying to the dev server uh, we then actually go forward and merge the changes to to develop at that point uh, the latest and greatest changes uh, would have been merged to develop and then we deploy to a different server and we let that sit for a little while uh, by little while i mean it could be a few minutes, a few hours, or maybe a couple of days uh, to make sure things are stable, just depending on the scope of the change we made, uh, we may have made. Uh, and if it looks all right, uh, then we actually uh, start uh, doing uh, our due diligence in pushing it to production. So we merge the changes to master, uh, we deploy it to staging, we go through uh, some amount of testing. Uh, and once we are happy, we then deploy it to prod. Uh, and obviously we create the tag in the process. So that's at the highest level our Git, um, the way we uh, do our Git management. Thank you.